What is going on YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, and we are still using our outside voices because we're outside. outside. <laughs> and today's vlog is all about spring testing and our first time using our new setup. No. All right, we're gonna try this again. Take two. <laughs> we finally got our, this is our first camping trip of 2021. The weather is better than perfect. The 100 series performed better than perfect. The rooftop, I mean the roof nest, I mean that thing is awesome. And we got the perfect campsite. So. Yeah, so we found this campsite last year, late last year, but we didn't get a chance to camp here yet because we either weren't camping or we just came for a day to pretty much just drive around for a minute and that's it. So this is our first time out camping and we happened to actually get the spot. And then as soon as we came here, literally not even five minutes after that, another car pulled up. So we got so lucky and it's so exciting. Yes. But there's a bunch of perks to this uh, site. Yes, so I will show you some of the perks of booking this uh, lot right here now first of all you can't book this this is first come first serve because this is in the middle of the uh what do they call this a forest reserve it's some kind of forest reserve road but i'm yes. not sure which what number it is forest i don't know whatever it's between delonica wildlife and management LJ, area yeah. something like between that between delonica lj and blue ridge yeah but first of all it comes with an awesome fire pit that's number one it's pretty well built up and uh people tend to come over here and destroy it for some reason i don't know why certain campers do that kind of stuff but some people litter some people destroy fire pits they throw stuff in it i don't know but anyway we have our own fire pit so we don't even have those problems anymore but it is nice to have a ground fire yeah, pit yeah of course it also comes with a table Ooh, somebody at some point built this really nice table over here and uh yeah as you can see we're using it for our props and stuff for another video that we are shooting yeah and um the best part let me show you all the best part of this view so i mean not view but the, i kind of gave it away <laughs> but the best part of this campsite is that when you come over here, it's like the most like, I guess, what would you call it? Picturesque campsite that one could imagine. When you think about, oh, I want to go camping and oh, what kind of location I want to camp at. This is pretty much the only thing that can spring to one's mind. This is what I was looking for when we had originally started this whole camping adventure and we were looking at locations and different campsites. And I was like, okay, well, what kind of campsite would I want to camp on? This is pretty much it. So I'm gonna show y'all right now why I love this campsite so much. Look at that. So what is going on YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, like, subscribe, comment, and all that beautiful stuff. Um, you know, as a lot of y'all know, they have all been following us. You know, our last setup that we had, the amazing GX470. Um, is no longer. Is no longer. <laughs> and we have found two replacements for it. And this is our yeah. first time actually using um, said replacements out in the wild. We decided we should get out this weekend because it was really nice yeah. and do some testing with our new setup and our equipment to see how everything would get on before we go on a big, massive trip that we're planning to do, uh, I guess, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. I, we'll have to figure out our schedules, but hopefully sooner than later, because yes. the weather is just so beautiful to be outside. Not too hot, not too cold. You know, spring is around, everything is going to turn green. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, this is our first time actually have a roof nest uh, Falcon XL. Yes, Falcon XL. On uh, Land Cruiser. And this is our first time camping this year, period. Yeah. So far, we haven't really been camping this year due to all other events as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, we spend one night only so far and... I'm absolutely loving this. Mm -hmm. The Land Cruiser is coming in so handy in so many ways. Oh yeah. Uh, so as you can tell, we have our uh, Falcon 
connected directly to the uh, stock OEM roof rack. A lot of people will warn you against it if you look at the internet uh, forums and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, we actually ran our first roof tent on a, our GX470 yeah. without a roof rack for months with yeah. no problem. And I looked at the structure of this um, um, rack and I was like, I think this rack can do it. And honestly, it's very, very nice because I feel like the way that the roof racks are, that little bend, I feel like it's meant to be like a leaf spring and a shock absorber mm -hmm. at the same time. And meant to move around like yeah, move up and down yeah and it rolled so good on the highway yesterday when we were coming up here and we had like an hour almost two hour drive up here it was on the highway and off road because yeah. it took us good 30 to 40 minutes to get up to this spot and some of these uh you know turns and terrains mm -hmm. is pretty serious so oh, yeah. we definitely tested it out mm -hmm. and it handled it properly and sleeping up there and climbing up there i didn't feel like you know we were going to fall into the roof of the land no. cruiser or slide off the roof or any of that kind of stuff it's very very uh firm and sturdy in my personal opinion yeah. i know a lot of y'all are going to disagree um but what else oh so it so it rides good on the car it feels good on the car um obviously we love the roof nest falcon way more than that uh what was that thing called i camper i camper sky camp 2.0 mm -hmm. and uh yeah hopefully we'll have some good pace around the track this year um with our new setup um what was there there was something else that i wanted to say in this did video. you want to talk about the drivability yes so that's another big thing so the Land Cruiser off-road versus the GX. The Land Cruiser with the tent on top of it, it's just super, super unnoticeable. Like you, like with the GX, mm -hmm. you would know that there was a tent up there. And I don't know if it's because of the shortness of the wheelbase or the aerodynamics or what, but when you had a tent on the GX, you know there was a tent on the GX. Tent on the Land Cruiser, you don't really tell the difference. It's just like, oh, okay, there's something up there, but I'll only know if you go up and look, but it's, it drives mega awesome with the uh, equipment and with the tent up there so so far our spring testing has been going very good yeah. and we are very very happy with our setup and we are pretty confident that our setup will be able to take us on our spring and Journey. summer journeys yeah i can't wait to actually properly take a week off so we can go for another good nice camping trip in multiple different locations and the setup is so fast and easy now we don't have to worry about taking you know a full hour to get everything set up it mm -hmm. literally takes a few seconds it popped out and then close it if you want to move no Done. problem no problems so we got some cool stuff coming up oh and i forgot let me talk about that so we're going to do a full review of our roof nest falcon once we get yes. done with that trip because we're going to really really put it through the paces real good because you know we haven't really got a chance to use it as much since the gx was crashed but so far we love it Anyway, that's us, KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all those things. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next vlog.